Google. Come on. Hi. Just putting a chicken leg in here. It's frozen, so I gotta let this thing cook for a while. I'm just trying to trying to get the um the the um the chicken. I'm just trying to flake it down, but I'm just want to cook that. I hope you're all doing well. What I'm using is I'm using the stir fry blend from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm using the, the pepper, the pepper stir fry. I'm just wondering if I should have added just a little bit more to it. I'll just add just a little bit more. I'm wanting to get the meat from the chicken, and I'd like to blend that with the Alfredo sauce. So let's go ahead and put these in. Put these in. You all right, baby? Mm -hmm. You can do just a second, okay? Let me put these veggies. I'm gonna put these veggies in the bag, and then I want to put these up, okay? Come, come, come here to me. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. You come here. You come here. It's all right. Okay? You want to say hi to the audience? I think, oh, Sunny Skies, Evelyn Jones, and Love Cats. Hi, Love Cats. She's just meowing just a bit, just a bit. It's kind of bothering me. So what I do is sometimes I just pick her up and hold her for a little bit. It's going to be all right. Okay? All right? You see, oh, you've never seen above here, have you? <laughs> hey, hey. I love you. It's all good, okay? It's all good. All right. You hang around if you want to. It's all right. Okay? I haven't forgotten. It's all good. You hear me? Hmm? It's all good. Mommy loves you. You know I love you, right? You know I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I talk to her like a baby. <laughs> so I've got the stir fry vegetables with a little bit of water back here. And then I've got the other, the pepper. It's a pepper stir fry from the Dollar Tree. And I'll just show the, uh, show the bags again. It's going to be this one from the tree. And then I can get the bag open. <laughs> then the pepper stir fry from the tree. Now sometimes with that pepper stir fry, you get you get your red peppers, your yellow peppers, and your green peppers. But there's more onion than anything, which is fine. That's just fine. So basically, I've got to lower this down. I've got the Alfredo sauce in the back, and I need to lower that. That's just bubbling a little bit more than I would like it. And I've got one chicken leg. Oh, are we not making use of that chicken leg, those chicken legs, my friends? Oh, yes, we are. So basically, I'm trying to get the chicken to cook up. And we're going to see what happens. I like to um, incorporate interesting ingredients into red sauces and into Alfredo sauces. I like, like if, even if a sauce has garlic and onion in it, I'll add more. And I'll add adobo. And, of course, these are my two staples. The adobo sasson and the adobo... Um, the Goya regular adobo and this sasson. This is an adobo sasson. This is just sasson <laughs> and adobo. Um, the only thing with this is it turns, because of the ingredients, it turns whatever you're uh, making orange. It's got like an orange, it has an orange tinge to it. So your Alfredo sauce will not look a uh, creamy white. It would look a little bit orange, but it, it doesn't bother me at all. So olive oil is being used with these with these veggies 
And to that, I just sprinkle just a little bit of a little bit of the sasan. I believe in flavoring not all the ingredients, but uh, I just think that your ingredients, once you're blending, I, I like to separately spice them depending on what they are. Sometimes not, but I just like having flavor. Let's see something. There we go. Let's do that. So here is the Goya being added. And as the cook, the chicken leg is literally thawing and cooking at the same time, because I just want the meat from the leg, I will do the same thing. Because I know that the meat, there's no, there's no flavor into the meat whatsoever. So we're going to do this. Okay. Veggies I'm going to leave as is, the, the, the stir-fry veggies, because I'm going to mix the, these two groups of vegetables together. And then I want to add um, a sauce to it. As soon as those are a little bit tender, okay, they're starting to boil a little bit. I want to mix them together. I just wanted these the stir fry veggies to, to get a little bit tender. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to take the stir fry. The stir fry veggies are cooking in, in some water, not covered, just enough water to, to soften. And then I want to add stir fry veggies to stir fry peppers, red, green, and yellow peppers. We're having a veggie fest, my friends. Oh, yes, indeed. So I'm going to get this all together. And then I'm having the bow tie pasta. That's what's going to um. That is the, uh, the pasta which I've selected is the bow tie. Been thinking about y'all. I've had uh, I've had y'all on my heart. Yes, I have. Today's been one of those. You know how you have those those quiet days. You see, charging charging my camera. You have those um those quiet uh, introspective days. You know, black pepper. So. Hard to believe I can be quiet. <laughs> I can. Okay, that's enough of that. And then maybe just a little bit of salt. I did go out and get some Cool Whip today to go with that pie. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> she came out pretty good. She came out pretty good. Um... I don't want you, um, I'm, gonna talk, I'm not talking about food right now. I'm talking about you. I don't want you doubting. I don't want you doubting. If he does love you. Yes, he does. And he's right there with you. Right there with you. Yes, he is. Do not doubt that. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much raw. I'm just going to turn her over. And I'm letting, um, trying to let that thaw. And y'all know I always try to, little by little, I just start putting things away. I got that kind of, just want a little more of this. I got that kind of etched in, put into my mind by watching, you know, my family, watching my mother cook. You clean up as you go, then there's not that much to clean up when you're done. And let's just want to move some stuff over to the side. I don't know why I just, I see somebody. I see somebody. I see you. I see you kind of crouch down. Get up. Get up, please. 
Okay, I think I think we need to crank this thing up right here. Let's see. Make sure I'm cranking the right one up. <laughs> so this is the front. And we need that to kind of move. That is the rear. Oh yeah, a um a drop of a drop of oil into that um pasta water. Yeah, I left the the um just a drop of um olive oil. So helping it not to stick. I'm just gonna I use the vegetable water. I left it in there and just added more on top. Now some folks they'll add they'll have a percentage of water and then they'll have a percentage of chicken stock in there as well. Just different kinds of ways depending on what you're looking for to flavor what you're what you're going to eat, what you're cooking. Okay. So I just have to wait a little bit. I'm going to try not to be on for so long this evening. Yes, I'm going to try. Move Mr. Mouse over here. All right, Google. You waiting for me? That little kitty cat is so faithful. Yes, she is. When I went out to the tree today, um, you know how yesterday I was making the pie and I had in the very beginning, I had the ingredients in, um, in the measuring cups and stuff like that. Well, I would like to get a little bit better at what I'm doing in this kitchen. So at the Dollar Tree, you get four of these. Four for a dollar. These are kind of cute. And they're kind of nice. If you are going to eat something tiny, you want to go in the fridge and get a little bit of macaroni salad, a little bit of potato salad. You just want a little some something in the middle of the night. You know how we wake up like that sometimes. But what I like, these are for, for that. But as um, as the father helps me, I, I seek his help in every area. Um, I can put my ingredients in, in separate little bowls like this and try to, to, to kind of present things to you a little more cleanly, you know? I'm not going to get away from my personality and who I am and stuff like that, but I just thought when I saw them, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Why don't I go ahead and grab two sets, you know? As usual, I'm dropping things. <laughs> so what else is new? Oh, I think we cranked that up too high. Oh, yes, indeed. There we go. Turn that over. Just basically, the chicken leg is just sitting in a little bit of olive oil with a little bit of spice on it, and I'm letting that cook up. Don't be afraid. She gets so scared of every little thing. She is the definition of Frady Cat. And I apologize and I for missing the chat. I miss a lot in the chat. Yes, I do. Oh, Betsy, Betsy. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope that, I hope that incrementally. Oh, twice baked potatoes Grandma Cheap Cheap's having tonight. Oh, Grandma Cheap Cheap, those are so good. Hi, Grandma Cheap Cheap, Betsy, Betsy, Denise Broomer, Truly Tracy, Sunny Skies, Love Cats. Hold on, let me go back. Hi, Miss Lena. Hi, Melvin. Melvin Johnson. Wait a minute. 
Hi, California Glow. I am actually surprised that you're all here on a Tuesday. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it greatly. It's very kind of you to do. Very kind of you to do. Yeah, I just, it's, 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 I don't even know how to describe that. Where I, I'm just going along and I just kind of, I don't want y'all to think I'm weirding out on you or anything, you know, or I, I, I want to be very careful. I, 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 you don't add to or take away from this book. Y'all feeling me? You don't add away or take away from God's word. But I, I, I know that the father has given each and every one of you. There's 14 of you here. All 14 of you have been given a gift. Each and every one of you have a, a gift that the father has given you. Oh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> if it's a spiritual gift or just a, a combination of things, a spiritual gift and a physical gift of some sort, there's something that you're very skilled at. He's given you that gift. And sometimes I, I, I think I'm trying to understand myself. See, I, I, le I lived a lot of my life scared. I lived a lot of my life under under condemnation and fear. The combination of condemnation is, and fear is a horrific thing. Because if you're running around panting and afraid, you can't think correctly. And you miss a lot. I think I missed out on I think I, I missed out on about 25 years. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 20, about 25 years. Yeah, the devil pretty much came in and hijacked me and took about 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to go back and recoup some of that by almighty God's, um, by his grace. And they start with those bowls. I know that sounds like the most ridiculous thing. I'll tell you about, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Checking food, and I can talk. Uh, try to. Uh, I can try to do a couple things at the same time. You know, I can do this at the same time. <laughs> if I can do this, I suppose I can do this and talk. <laughs> so the thief cometh to rob, to steal, and to destroy. Oh yes, he does. He comes to rob. He comes to steal, to ki to steal, kill, and destroy. And he he stolen a lot from me. And I and I willingly gave some things up out of fear. There's a lot of dreams. There's a lot of dreams that have been squashed because of fear. And I think we need to, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by his strength, I think we need to grab the fear by the throat. It's been grabbing us by the throat and choking us out for quite some time. I think we need to do a little bit of a role reversal with the sword of his word. Mm -hmm. Not running around pompous and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I got Jesus right here. Oh, yes. I got to be in him. And be, I, 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 we need to be armed. We need to be armed uh, properly, you know. There's an old saying from a movie. It says, "Why are you Why are you here um, with a knife at a gunfight? Why are you showing up with a knife at a gunfight? So why in the world would I be so ridiculous not to put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of, the, of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and have my feet, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace? Uh, why am I going to come unprepared?" and nick it. Why am I going to come to this fight spiritually naked? That's a mistake. Why am I not going to come with a good sword? That's a mistake. And why am I going to be ridiculous and not come in the name of Jesus Christ? But fully armed and prepared, my friends, that's what we need to do. A lot is stolen, a lot is stolen by deception. A lot is stolen by deception. 
something. I'm just cutting into the chicken so that it'll fall within. Yeah, a lot of stolen by deception about about a a, a smoke screen. Yeah, it's a satanic a satanic smoke screen. It's up in front of your face so that you can't see quite clearly to go after what God has given you. He's given you a gift. Oh, yes, he has. I don't, if it's the gift of gab, the gift of conversating, the gift of being an intercessor, you know, whatever that gift is, you have, organi you have organizational skills that are off the chain. You should be having your own business. Oh, yes, indeed. Whatever that is, even being empathetic, being having being able to have empathy to be able to relate to a person is a gift. Yes, it is. So in my nearly 60 years of being on the planet, I'm trying to figure out who I am and I'm trying to figure out that gift. I, I kind of think I have a little bit of an understanding to part of it when I feel like I have genuine empathy for people, genuine empathy for people I don't even know personally. You know how somebody says, oh, I, I, I know you. Sometimes they know you. Um, they know of you. They know of you but they don't know you, you see. They know of you, but they don't know you. And I can know of you, but empathize with your situation as though I really know you because in the spirit, I feel you. Does that make sense to anybody? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going off into Weirdville again. <laughs> But the father, the father can reveal some things to you. He can reveal some things to you very gently as you're going about doing everyday ordinary things during your day or during your evening. As you are tearfully seeking him in prayer or just sin sincerely seeking him in prayer seeking to have a closer relationship with him in prayer. You've heard this and and, and, a, and a bunch of, well, not a bunch of preachers. Some preachers have said this. He under, and, and I think the Bible talks about this. He understands every moan and every groan that comes out of my face. Yes, he does. But sometimes we just cry so hard and talk so much that we don't have any words left. We're just sitting there groaning and moaning. Oh, there's a certain cry. Have you ever, have you ever had your children to fake cry? You know, uh, maybe they've got a bit, gotten a bit of disciplining and they're dragging the cry. You know, kind of. Eh. Have you ever heard a child fake cry? Eh, right. And we kind of know what that is after a while, <laughs> especially the first child, poor little thing. The first child was an experiment because <laughs> we were never parents before. Our first children are guinea pigs. We, you know what I mean? <laughs> poor little things. And then when you have the second, if you have two or three or four or five or six or how many children you have, you start becoming a little bit of a pro at this thing and start being able to differentiate between bologna and cheese and sincere tears. Let's see. But there is a cry. I know you mamas can attest to this, and so can you mamas and grandmas. There is a certain cry where I'll be sitting here in the kitchen. You hear a cry from outside, from the downstairs, from upstairs, from the basement. And you're doing this, all of a sudden you, just, you do that, and you just, you just run. You understand. That cry will make you jump over the couch. You know it's something serious. You understand the difference between those two kinds of cries. I dare say, I do believe that we can take that over into the spirit realm with him. He understands the difference between me complaining, 
kind of complaining or when I just, I just, just, this just so, I just feel so much pain right now. He understands the difference between the, the depth, the depth of your sorrow. And just because it's quiet in the room, don't you think for one minute that your heavenly father, what does he talk about our infirmity, our infirmities? Oh, yes, indeed. So it's this is kind of on me. So forgive me if you find this a little bit annoying. Please forgive me. But you're on, you're on me. It's on me right now. I'm just trying my best to, to break this chicken up and make these vegetables. <laughs> but I think, you know, there is there, there, there's, a, there's a deeper purpose for me being on this little itty bitty channel. You know? Oh, yes, he's allowed me to become you. Yes. And that's what he did when he came down here. Okay, these veggies are soft. Hold on, let's let's try it. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. I'm trying to show this and I don't really don't care about me. I'm just trying to do a little bit of boo, <laughs> trying to balance this, this screen. <laughs> let's see. That's good. So we're going to take our bow type pasta. It's bubbling. The water, the veggie, veggie slash water is bubbling. So we'll get that going. And then what I want to do is take the, take the Alfredo sauce and pour that into the veggies. Here are the combination of all the veggies together, the pepper stir fry and their regular stir fry right from the Dollar Tree. Matter of fact, here we go. So we just pour that in. So your veggies are flavored. They're cooked separately and flavored. And you know that Alfredo sauce has got some really good flavor to it and you just blend that together. You don't really, you don't have to have meat with this. I just decided to cook up that one piece of chicken. You don't have to have meat with it if you don't want to. But guess what? You can throw in some meatballs. You can throw in some some turkey meatballs, some hamburger with pork and, and um, sausage blend, whatever you enjoy. Or you can actually take a veggie burger, if you will, and break that up and crumble it up. Cook it up separate and blend that in with your sauce. Whatever you want to add to the sauce, I just, I just had a desire for vegetables, like a lot of vegetables. So, yep, I um, remember all the the um, the frozen chicken packages I had. This is actually one of them. Sometimes I'll have it. I'll have just one. Remember how I froze two together, two together, two together. It's, it's, um, yeah, we still got three packages. These are the frozen chicken legs. Remember? Still got a bunch of packages. Thank the Lord. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank God. Oh, he's, he's, he's blessed me so. I'm trying my best. I will look at the chat in just one second. I'm trying my best to be ever so grateful. It, it's, it's easy if, 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 if you're not careful. If, you're, if, if, if everything is paid, if your mortgage and your rent is paid, your electric and your cable and your internet is paid, your cupboards are full of food. I dare say that freezer that you have in the garage for the overspillage of extra food. Everything seems to be on point. 
you love the Lord, but everything everything is is is, is going pretty well. I have to be very careful not to not to get away from him. Oh, geez, I'm so comfortable. God, everything's going so well. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna speak for myself. I gotta be very careful. Nah, I don't feel like do I don't feel like doing this or that. See, look, is the chicken looks the chicken looks pretty rough, kind of kind of kind of messed up looking. <laughs> I'm kind of shredding, breaking it apart, you know. Just want to get a few chunks of chicken in with that. But yeah, I, I have to be I have to be extremely careful. I I, I do so. I do so want everybody to get into the kingdom. I recognize that as a pipe dream because not everybody is. But for goodness sakes, if I if I can in some tiny itty bitty little way, in some tiny minuscule way, help somebody to feel a smidge of comfort via the Heavenly Father, as you go through whatever it is you're dealing with, I, I, I hope that I can. I hope that I can in some small way. A lot of folks think, you know, I, I remember that statement. Somebody somebody said that in a video or something. I don't know where I saw that. They said something like, what did they say? I forget the video or the uh, subject matter of the video. Something like, I, geez, somebody should do something about that. Somebody should do something about that situation. And then the person in the video said, I realize I am somebody. I am somebody. Somebody should, I am somebody, you see. So in our in our own tiny little ways, if we can, we just try. Nothing wrong with trying. And if a person is just saying, you know what, I really, really don't need your help. Matter of fact, I really, really don't, you know, I, I, I'm good. And that's fine. You know. And this is this is another thing that came to mind to me today. This is another thing that maybe we don't talk about a lot, but I will. There are some folks. There are some folks. Hi, Eliza. Uh, Hi, Covert Yankee. You know, Covert Yankee, you popped into my head big time today. I've been wondering about you. I've been wondering about you. Matter of fact, I'm walking around the store thinking about Covert Yankee. Yes, I was. I was wondering about you. I didn't know if you were quietly watching or if you were busy. Or I just got kind of nervous, you know. But, um... When I think when I was just talking a second ago about a person that says, hey, I don't need your help or whatever. There is a tiny segment of people. There's a teeny tiny segment of people that you can't. I'm sad to say this, that you can't waste your time with this tiny, itty bitty little group of people. Like being in misery. Y'all know what I'm talking about? There's, there's a tiny, itty bitty, there, there are a small amount of people that talk about misery and are kind of addicted to drama. They're addicted to everything being all, all up in the air and crazy. And so you'll try to step in as their friend, as their relative and offer up some solutions. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But, oh, let me just talk more about this thing. You know? Just itty bitty, just a few, just a few. 
So you, uh, when you're exerting your spiritual energy toward a situation, it takes a lot out of you. I know I'm preaching to the choir. There's 27 of you. I'm preaching to the choir for 27 people right now. I think you all understand what I mean. Where you're just really focusing on this or focusing on that or talking to a person or dealing with whatever it is that takes a lot out of you, right? You're not looking for any rewards for it or anything like that. You're just doing, doing this with the genuine love of your heavenly father. That's just your nature. You just want to be, whether it's through conversation, a pat on the back, a hug, whatever that is, which way you're helping that person or people. So since it's taking so much out of your spirit, just kind of pray for and pray for um, discernment to understand where you're to focus your help. You see, you know, I used to have to get my sister on that because um, my younger sister. She would go on and on and on complaining about my older sister. My, yeah, my older sister can be cold, whatever. I said, look, I don't have anything. I just tell you, I'm talking on the phone to her. I don't know how many months ago or a year ago, whatever. I said, listen, Carmen Zita, I don't have anything negative to say about Daisy, okay? I go, anything that, 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 that she's doing, you know, you're over there. You're two streets over, whatever it is, many streets over now. I go, whatever it is you're dealing with or stuff like that, I go, just stop and pray for her. I said, just, just pray for her. I go, I have nothing but respect for her. I seen her at the age of 17 going to that hospital, working in the kitchen with a lot of other ladies. And then she got pregnant and with her, with her big tummy was waddling her way to work. And then worked her way into into the uh, just within the system of the hospital, applied for different jobs, and little by little by little by little work her way up to that. You see, and I respect that greatly. I may not disagree with some of the things that she did as far as my mother is concerned, but I don't sit here hating her. You see, I can't, I know, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. that was a disappointment to me. And that made me very angry. As y'all know, that's a very sore part. You know, it's very sore with me, but I got to let that go. I got to let that go. And so, you know, and it's like, I remember I told you that other little story about Carmen where I don't know if she fell or what happened. Sorry, I'm just kind of, let me just turn this around. Got to be, I got, I have to be very careful to balance this thing. I have to step back and see everything for what it really is. You know, okay, yeah, you might have done this thing that made me mad. I was real angry with you. I, quite frankly, I kept like smacking you up a little bit, you know, because that's mom, right? Da, 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 whatever, you know, but I got to see the bigger picture. I, I, I got to see glory. I got to see the bigger picture. I got to see my heavenly father looking at me, watching me and how I'm treating his daughter because my sister Daisy is God's daughter too. So I can't let all this personal earthly stuff of my mom and all that get in. You know what I mean? I must act. To I got to be careful. I will express myself and talk about how things hurt me. Oh, of course, we all talk about and let stuff out. You know, like a bunch of ladies get to the world. Oh, you know, I remember this and this, that, and the other thing. And this, da, 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 da. But I better learn something from it. I got to try to figure this out and learn something from it. I got to kind of glean through all the bologna and cheese and learn something. But anyways, as usual, I digress for the 800th time. <laughs> Pasta. Yep. Here we go. Oh, where did I put that count? That thingy. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. And we got to turn off that rear burner. That's on low. 
Do a little, do a little shaky, shaky. So now you have your nice bow ties, nice and tender. Now, if we can get a couple more pieces off this chicken here, let's just move this over here. Let's see Alfredo with the veggies. Then we've got the pasta over there. Now we're coming, we, we, you know, I hear more and more people uh, that say that they're of a spiritual realm of spirit, uh, do, okay, they do biblical videos. I noticed a common theme from almost the, all the ones that I watch. They're all talking about separately about how we're in the last days. That's one thing that everyone is saying that it seems like we're getting more closer to the end. And then what was the other thing? There's something else. How things are more evil. How you see in the media, we 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 have beat a dead horse with this subject already. But how they're no, oh yeah, it just seems like everything's more wicked. Another person, oh, it seems like everything, oh, it just seems like things are so bad. Oh, I can't believe this is, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I, I, I am repeating myself, but I got to be very careful. What's really important to the father from, from me? I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about myself. What's important to the father. I need to figure out what that is. And I need to make that important to me. And loving the unlovely is the most challenging thing. One of the most challenging things, not only dealing with uh, illness, illness of ourselves or illness of our loved ones is a very difficult thing as being your shoulders have to be a little bit made a little bit wider because you know everybody's relying on you and stuff like that. And then being able to know the difference, having spiritual discernment in every category there is kind of okay, no, I'm not gonna be doing that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. No, that uh, uh no, I'm not gonna get involved with that. Yeah, come here. Let's go and do the, you know? So I'm just getting uh, Mr. Chicken Leg down to the bone here. I'm just trying to strip some of this meat off here. Okay, this is the what are we going to do? We... Hmm. You know what? I'll just use this plate. I'm going to take this leg out. And then add a little bit of fat here. I don't really want the fat. Alfredo has enough fat in it as it is. Or the sauce. And just kind of get this. Just look at that real good. Break this up. A piece of skin right there. Okay, make sure here. And you can go in there. Oh, we're not wasting that bone. We can use that bone for something else because it's got meat on it. And so here you have the, the meat from the chicken, right? I'll set you to the side. And then <laughs> I need to turn this up a little bit. Sorry, the, the chat comes in and out. Raindrops on roses, hi. Sandra Aguirre, hi. It only seems more evil now because of social media. Cell phones bring all news to everyone quicker and more abundantly. Yes. And uh, also evil, 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 um, evil A, evil B, evil C, and evil D are all finding each other. And they're friendly with one another, you see. Here's a, here's kind of a stupid example. Hey, I, I like stealing Hershey bars from the Dollar Tree. You know what, man, I like doing that too. You like doing that too? Yeah, you, come on, let's all go steal together. 
I know that sounds ridiculous. I, I, I try to use kind of a silly, silly illustration. But there's even bigger things. Y'all, you know, there's bigger horrific things that people are agreeing to. And then the things that were seen as 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 the things that were seen as wrong are seen as okay now. Some things. But I need to, let me see. I need to turn that up. But I don't have time to be worried about this or a certain set of things. You focus on your salvation, helping your family as best as you can, and, and, and just, you know, helping your friends or whatever as best as you can. But I know you all know how to balance that through. What percentage of yourself are you going to do for this, 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 and this? But you, you have to have to focus on your salvation, you know, because we, we, we go up individually. And then, of course, our family and stuff like that. But just 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 have that like right here at the front. I'm just giving an opinion. Do whatever you want. I'm just giving an opinion. Because I it's like. There are some people that even have to uh, sadly and it breaks their heart. There are some people that have to separate from family because family are not doing what. The father would have them. They're not doing what God is saying that they should do. And somebody I think was talking about that yesterday, about sometimes you got to separate from people or something like that. That's Those aren't your exact words, but you mentioned something about it. Okay. Can I get you closer? Can I get you even closer? There we go. How about that? Hey, we're getting all professional all up in here. <laughs> So, so here you have um, your Alfredo sauce. Let's switch burners so this can be a little bit closer for you. Here is your sauce, the Alfredo sauce with your veggies in there. And like you can see here is your um, broccoli and just all your different vegetables in that sauce with the Goya adobo and all that. And then here you have your bow tie pasta. And what am I wanting to do? I'm going to turn this off. I want to put the chicken in with this. You see all the different little pieces of chicken? I just want to blend that in. There's just a little dot of olive oil in, in this pan. And so I just want to, let me see. I want to use that wooden spoon. Is everything turned off? Yes, it is. And so you just want to blend that in, blend that together incorporate it all together and you can have no meat at all or you can do like me where I had bought the 10 pounds I bought the 10 pounds of chicken and I'm trying to uh, different uses uses for that 10 pounds of chicken I'm getting getting all kinds of uh, different uses oh trust me all the the father will give 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 my little noggin brain uh, some wisdom <laughs> every once in a while, you know. Hey, buy this for five dollars and you can have eight meals. You can incorporate that chicken into all kinds of different things, you know. I made a um I had the chicken legs left over from when I made the one meal, and I did make a chicken salad with the sweet relish from the Dollar Tree, and then um I have an onion. That I put in that um, I have an onion all chopped up in here. So I put a little bit of onion, a little bit of sweet relish, some mayonnaise, and I flaked off the last of the chicken. And I got two sandwiches out of that. So I got a din I got two dinners and two lunches, if you will, out of out of those chicken legs. Oh yes, indeed. I'm preaching to the choir for some some, some of y'all. Y'all know y'all know exactly how to how to do that. You know how we do. We don't waste anything. So let's plate this up and see how we look. Hey Lisa, hi Yaki Snacky. They wouldn't even film Elvis from the waist down. He danced on TV back in the day. Now they show everything. Yeah, they show everything. And, and isn't it, it just seems kind of odd to me. 
Um, it's kind of like, okay, okay. You, we would watch TV like Mary Tyler Moore and all these other shows. And then little by little, they started showing more and more and more. After a while, you're watching someone in their underwear. If they got a t-shirt on, they're in their underwear, let's say. They got their bra and underwear on or something. You see that for a while. Then if someone is in their bra and underwear, that seems normal. That seems to be okay because you, you just program to see that. And it's normal to see that. But I'm just going to tell you. When you start getting into the word of God, when you start praying and praising the Lord, you 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 start praying and, and then you decide, according to the scripture, to protect these gates. You start, OK, no, I don't feel like watching that one show. Um, uh, I want to do a little more reading and well, let me see if I can find an old movie or something. So you do that. For about six months, right? You do that for about six months. Then you go over to a relative's house. And one of the kids is 16 or 17 years old, and they're watching something. And the person is frolicking across the screen in their underwear. Watch this. You get into shock. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, because your spiritual eyes are wide open. And the spirit of the sermon and the Holy Ghost come upon you. And says that's wrong. And, and that's something you you almost go, you, you know, you were like for 10 years, everything just that just seemed normal. But now it's shocking. But people don't understand you, they don't understand the journey that the journey that you have made and why you find, well, are you old funny daddy? Well, yeah, get with the program. Ah, oh, that's fine. Show a little bit of this. Oh, wow, well, we don't care. You know, you're like, mm. And they're looking at you like you're crazy. And then you're looking at them like they're crazy. You see, it's subtle. Satan is very subtle. I'm not trying to throw stones at anybody in, in, in Hollywood or whatever, or maybe I am, <laughs> but it's shocking. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it's shocking to me sometimes. Well, yeah, that's okay. Well, that's all right. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Why don't Miss Fab, why don't you go? Why don't you go walk on that tightrope without a net from underneath? Everybody's doing it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, you hear me as I splat on the ground. <laughs> ah. So let's put our pasta. The bow tie pasta. Which costs one dollar a box at my Walmart. This, I want to try to let you see this close. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you would like to call this Lynn Helper because it reminds me of Hamburger Helper. <laughs> so you have stir fry vegetables from the Dollar Tree for one dollar for the bag. Then you have the pepper stir fry from the Dollar Tree. Adobo and sasson, kind of wrapped all into it. Goodness gracious, that's kind of big, oh well. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the food that you've given, given me. Please bless it, Lord. Thank you so very much for blessing me, Father. Bless it for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But here is what the final product or final meal looks like. And I have a, a, um, a Twitter. There's no really nobody on my Twitter, but I took a picture of the pie. Remember the pictures of the pie from yesterday? I took the before and after. Well, I meant when I when I when it said uh, put a photo on. I'm trying to figure this all out. Y'all forgive me. So I was able to get the 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 before and the after in one picture. 
And if you look back at yesterday's video, you'll see that picture of them side by side. Oh, grandma's learning. She's learning little by little. So let me try to get a picture of this. Now, Fancy is very interested because she smells the chicken. <laughs> so hold on, let's put the fork in there. And y'all, please excuse me. I just want to get a photo. Let me see. Like, take another one just in case. And then let me turn this off. And then take a picture of your your food. And then it goes into the folder called the picture folder. And then once this becomes a video, um, I can switch the thumbnail so you can see what that picture is going to look like. I'm just reading your comments. Yaki, Snacky, and Lisa Jones, thank you so very much for visiting. I appreciate y'all. On the box and put me on it. Oh, look like it's good. <laughs> oh. The foul language is right. Housewives call each other the B word. My friends don't call me that. Oh, I feel sorry for anybody that's stepping. In. Uh, don't let me be around you if somebody's trying to call you that. I guess I'll be on, I'll be on a, a YouTube video. It's a common thing to call a woman a B. That's very common. You know how people say, hey, girl, what's up, girl? How you doing, girl? Hey, sis, how are you? It's like, yeah, you be. Hey, check that B out like that. It's like they're intermingling it, just bringing that in to, to like it's regular. Well, if, you, if, if you call them what, what it means, hey, female dog. Hey, female dog. Hello, female dog. Now, if I started saying something like that and they got the definition, Maybe they'd stop using that word. I don't know. Call me silly. <laughs> I have the uh, Colonna grated Parmesan cheese. Yes, I had insult to injury. <laughs> I sprinkled just a little, a little bit on there. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit of everything. And you know I got to bring it to you. <laughs> yeah, normalizing, normalizing things. That shocked us a few years ago or years ago. Just, just, and young folks, some young folks don't even know, they, 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 they don't, that's normal to them for some. <clears throat> They've heard their mother say it, and that's, that's normal to them. Goodness gracious, I'm trying to get a good, I just want to try to get a little bit of everything here. Okay, hold on. Here's the, yeah, okay, there's the broccoli. Let's get a piece of some chicken on there. And y'all know I got to come up close for you. You see your chicken, your broccoli, and your sauce. Smells good. Oh, honey. It looked like that, and it is good. <laughs> it's really good. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, and you know what? Hold on. The wine of choice is Pepsi. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you know what I was watching? There was four videos, and there's a, a YouTuber. Her name is Rockstar Mom, but it's not spelled like Rockstar. But if you, I think if you type Rockstar Mom in there, she'll pop up. She's like 70, and she looks like she's 50 or, or, or younger. I'm telling you. And she does different reviews, anti-aging things. She does all kinds of videos. And she had a four part series. She was saying, talking about how she met her husband. 
And I was just enthralled. I'm wa I watched all four of the videos and I had the, I had the thing in my car. I had my cell phone in the car. And before I drove, drove off, I clicked play and I was just driving, listening. And how you find love at an older age. It was just a beautiful story. But she's, her name is Rockstar Mom. It's like R-C-K-S. T R mom or something like that. I don't remember the first two letters, but the word rock star, some of the, I think some of the vowels are taken out. But like I said, she does videos and showing how she does her makeup and stuff like that. She looks, she looks awesome. I'm telling you, she, she I'm, I'm, I just, I got a lot. I, I, I like to watch and, and, and get different tips, but I was enthralled by her telling her story of how she met him. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sunny Skies. What's going on with Mr. Cover? I humbly ask. Oh, hold on now, see how I missed stuff? Thank you, Sunny Skies. You said to pray for him and that's down here. His statement is way up there, I almost missed it. I humbly ask that if you all would pray for me to help me through this difficult time. Oh, brother, I know you popped in my head for some reason. Yes, you did. Goodness gracious, I'm telling you the absolute truth. I'm out and about and you're in my head. Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Yes, sir, yes, brother, we will. You know how we, you know how we do. Oh, we'll chase that thing down. We'll chase that thing down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we will. Yeah, I was just. In silent mode. So I just sort of ease back. And, and, and hush my big mouth, you know. Sometimes it's like you feel like you're getting your gift. <laughs> it's like, like I, sometimes I joke, I mean, no disrespect, but I say headquarters. You know, I point up to heaven and say headquarters. So I'm like, goodness gracious, I feel like there's something coming from headquarters or something telling me to be quiet. Y'all pardon me as I eat. <laughs> Sometimes you get a confirmation of something. God, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, our master and king, he blows our minds. He blows my mind. I know he blows your mind sometimes. It's like, I don't believe in coincidences. I just think that the father divinely lines things up. Oh my gosh, really? I was just gonna go and <laughs> when I'm going like this, my slow menopausal mind just thought about something. So I'm like, oh, give me a second. I'm trying, I'm trying not to lose this thought. <laughs> Now, I'm thinking, I was thinking before, I won't ever see my grandchildren again. I won't see my grandchildren until they're adults and they decide they want to look for me if I'm still on the planet, right? But here comes, here comes something. Here comes something. I'm like, no, I, I don't know about that. Your door is going to open. And the first one that comes through that door will be Emma. Your front door is going to open. And the first one to come through the door of the three of them will be Emma. Just like that. I said, well, I can come into agreement for that.
there was something, something so very special about a grandchild. There's something just so special. First of all, they're a part of you. And then it, it's a spiritual thing. I started talking to her when she was still in the womb. Yes. States and states and states away, I started talking started talking to her. And when she was placed in front of me, when I saw her in person for the first time, she spoke to me. We were just talking mind to mind. Yep. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hear the statement? There's just a knowing there's just a knowing. We have that with our children and our grandchildren. If you're married, husbands or wives, relatives. Sometimes there's a, a favorite auntie and she's almost like a mother to you. There's an older cousin that's like a mom figure to you. And there's just this thing. This tastes really good. And not just because I cooked it, I'm just letting you know I think it tastes really good. It's amazing. You know, the Dollar Tree is, has a lot more food items now. Um, Where is it? So the Alfredo sauce that I use was this. The Rinaldi. It says... Real cheese. The Dollar Tree, I don't know, has a prego. This is what I love because of my fingers. Sometimes my fingers literally stiffen up and I can't hold things. But anyways, look at this. I've never seen it at the tree. But here's something that's interesting in the back. I think that I should take this challenge on. You see this right here? Yep. Have chicken will travel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I think that would that would be kind of interesting to try. Excuse me. <laughs> Love cats. It's been it's been my experience even when I was young that most youth is desensitized. Yes. Oh. Covert Yankee. What I like about this is, of course, you have the Alfredo, and then you get bites of chicken, and then you get bites of veggies, and then you get the bites of pepper, and then you got the sasson, all that stuff married in together, and your black pepper, you know, there's all the different flavors. I love meals like this. I love casserole kind of meals like this, especially in the winter. In the wintertime, having your chili your soups and just things that are just, just remind you of home, just homemade, you know, yeah, you know, maybe you buy the sauce or something like that, or you put your own sauce together, but there's just something about a meal like this. Hi, Carol. Hey, Lena. Um, I really can't talk about it. Um, 
But I just, you know, communication has, I, it was announced to me, and communications have ceased and desisted. But God is, uh, God is amazing. <laughs> Oh, Miss Lean, I'm so glad you're back. You know, I think mushrooms probably would have went good in this as well, I would say. But it's okay. This just shows you. Okay. You have the bow tie pasta from Walmart for a dollar. You get Alfredo sauce available at the Dollar Tree. That's another dollar. Stir fry, stir fry veggies, a dollar. And then you have the stir fry peppers. So that's four dollars. Maybe a little drop of oil. I put a, a drop of a couple of drops of oil when I was cooking the veggies. So let's say for five dollars or under, oh, the chicken, the chicken. I use one chicken leg out of 10 pounds of chicken legs. 10 pounds for $5. Okay. So let's conservatively say that you have a meal for about $6. $5.50. Depending, like I said, I use the chicken leg from the 10 pound of chicken leg. And there's stuff left over. So that's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty good. You don't you don't have to use the chicken even. It still would taste good without the chicken. I just elected for the chicken because I knew I had it. Yeah, if you don't, some people just don't like the thought of chicken. They don't want to eat meat. Like I say, you don't have to add any meat. You can just buy the Morning Star um, veggie burgers. And take one of those veggie burgers and cook it up, break it up, and put that in just like I did with the chicken. God is awesome. Amen, sister. Amen. Covert Yankee, you're not alone, brother. Miss Lena, you're not alone. Betsy Wetsy, you're not alone. I don't think she's in here. Nellen Rivera, you're not alone. Mrs. King, probably not in here. Mrs. King, you're not alone. You don't have to be afraid. Though in our human, we get scared. Being afraid of something that, you know, initial, initially when it first happens or whatever, don't be ashamed. I, man, I, I, huh, I remember leaving one of my old jobs. I was, I was in my car. I was in North Carolina. It wasn't the last job in North Carolina. It was a job before that. And somebody had my poor little sad self in tears. Yep. I get in the car. And, I, and, and I'm at the wheel. And I'm crying like a big baby. I mean, I just lost it. I was just so frustrated. I just lost it. You ever do that? Things kind of build to a crescendo. And you just let it all out at once. And so I did that. I was just crying to my, you know, I'm, I'm alone in the car. And I'm, I'm driving out. And the next day, this brother came over to me. He said, don't you ever let anybody in here upset you. He goes, they're not worth it. He goes, I saw you in your car, and I didn't like seeing you like that. Oh, yes, indeed.
I'm going to take it into the living room. I got a few more buttons. Honey, I'm almost done. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God will send somebody your way. And sometimes there's something that you see let you know that he's still on the throne. That you are important to him. And that he does love you. How many times have we said, can't you see what I'm going through? Lord, my, you know. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. I've had a few yell, for, a, a few yell fests looking up. <laughs> How can you let me? Yippa dappa deepa dappa yabba dabba do. I'm sitting there like, you know. <laughs> no. Don't you know how sad I don't you know what I'm going through, huh? Mm -hmm. He's like, really? Really? You gonna go there? Come on now. And then I feel <laughs> and then and then this is this is so this is so, this is how paranoid I would I would get. It's like uh, uh, I'm crying, right? I'm sorry that I'm crying. <laughs> I would feel guilty, you know. Hey, you're supposed to be strong. You're supposed to be strong. Get a stiff upper lip. Come on now. You know, uh, I know you don't like repeated prayers, Father, but I, I got to ask you again. Did you just get this person out of my life? I'm so sick and tired of them stressing me out at work. And I'm just trying to do good. And I just talk to you. I talk to people about you, Lord. Why are you going to let that person keep harping on me at work like this? Uh, can't you give them a transfer? I don't want them to lose their job or their income for their family. But can you just get them out of my face? Can you transfer them to another building? <laughs> you know, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I try to be, I, I'm being extra careful, you know. I, I don't want anyone to lose their job. Could you just move them to a different place? <laughs> oh, I've had those, I've had those conversations. Or, or I would start a statement like, it's not fair, you know, it's not fair. Why are you letting that, that person, that person isn't even saved. How are they in charge of us? And then they're a jerk. Why, Lord, why? <laughs> they're not even thinking about you, Father. <laughs> I'm thinking about you. They're not. <laughs> like, like, like the Lord needs my help. Like when the, that one preacher lady said, who do you think you are, Holy Ghost Junior? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, I got to be here. I just mix the uh, the pasta with the, the remaining of the sauce, and then I'm going to put it in one of those containers. Oh, I've had those tearful. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, I had that nerve one day. He's not even saved. It's not fair, you know. <laughs> Get into the ugly, the ugly cry. <laughs> I think God's up there like this. <laughs> oh, we suffer and break at different times in our lives. Life can be so difficult. Yes. Yes. But I look back at myself sometimes. And yep, I'm the first one to make fun of myself because I know that certain there's certain set things that they it's in God's timing. He's allowing me to get spanked for a reason. I better go ahead quickly with grace and make my way through and not clock someone on the side of their head. I better handle this the way he wants me to handle this. I better do that. 
Of course, somebody put their hands on me. That's something different. But somebody, blah, 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 blah. Just want to take this wooden spoon and pop them on the side of the head. <laughs> Will you just be quiet? What is wrong with you? I barely even know you. What is it? I am, can you sit, yeah. I just like to put the little soap. Oh, we went for broke a few weeks ago. We got this mega size. <laughs> I forget how many. I had a bunch of them from the Dollar Tree. And then one day I'm in the grocery store. I, I was in the grocery store. I had paid the rent. That's the big deal. Once y'all know how it goes. Once you pay the rent or mortgage or whatever that is you're paying to live wherever it is you're living, like okay, the big, the big one, the big, it call, I call it the big one. Okay, the big one's done. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you know. And then you pay this, and then you pay that, and you're like, you know what? This is the week. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ginormous. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of silly. Oh, I can get the big one. Yay! <laughs> I, have these, I have these little parties by myself going down the grocery aisle. <laughs> oh, <woo -hoo. laughs> oh, my goodness. I remember. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. For your goodness and your mercy. So see, we have the left, the leftovers blended together right there. So I can eat it cold. I usually will heat it up. Sometimes I just like it like a salad, like a cold salad. I'll just eat it cold. It just depends on, you know, how I feel or whatever. But you got that. And let me put this out. Fredo in the fridge. There's still a little bit in that jar, and you know how we do. When you got a little bit about that much left in the bottom of the jar, you put two or three tablespoons of water in there or whatever and shake that up, and then you pour that in, and then put a little more, uh, some of the new, blend it together. You know, hey, we're trying to do the best we can, we're trying to be good stewards as best as we can. Ah, oh, beautiful hair, Miss Fab. You're looking ex especially lovely, just like you came out of the scary salon. Look at there. Look at there. Yeah, we're having a, yeah, all kinds of interesting things happening here. <laughs> I tried to, <laughs> I tried to make it into a shape or something, but I keep having, because it's short here and long there and oh, mercy. Okay. And do we have, yes, we do. Got everything turned on. Yes, we do. Okay. Hold on, let's get our let's get our plug. Goodness gracious. Gotta plug you in. Right, Miss Fancy? Right, baby? My little, my little furry companion. Oh. Stop doing that though. I love you, but don't do that. Oh, thank you for being doctors and having lots of patience with me. Ha <laughs> ha. I know I'm missing something. Hold on. I need to back the chat up. Words are pow words are so powerful and can be healing. Yes, sunny skies. Oh, you want some in a doggy bag, Miss Sunny Sky? Yes, Miss Lena, he is. I'll have that conversation in the kitchen all the time. I know you're here. How many times have I said this? I know I'm not talking to myself. You've seen what that person. <laughs> yep. 
I, I say that all the time. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not talking uh, talking to myself. Maybe the public will think I'm crazy. But anyways, I want to say something else about A, B, C, and D. And I raise my voice. I'm sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to yell. Let's get all this stuff. Let's get the stuff. Off. Try to get this all together in the back here. Oh, you don't need to go on tonight. It's Tuesday. Everybody's tired of looking at your face. I'm like, no, no. I go, if nobody comes in, they'll see it later. And if there's a word or two that can bless one person, if they look at the itty bitty little video later, then fine. But no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on there and, and see my friends. I need them more than they realize. Oof, I'm telling you. Just hearing some weird noises from next door. I don't know what that was. They were moving stuff around or anything. It just sounded so strange to me. Hi, Josie. Thank you so much. Coming from you, Grandma Chief Chief, thank you so very much. I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. But somehow, somehow, some way, we all get it together. I don't care if you're going to have some pancakes and some Dollar Tree syrup. I don't care. You know, it doesn't matter. Food is food. You have breakfast for dinner or dinner for breakfast. You feel like have sometimes people just, you know what? I just want some cereal. So you end up going and going and get getting your favorite granola cereal or Cheerios or Frosted Flakes or something. And then you make some toast, just regular toast and butter, you know, and you just sit down, turn the TV on or turn on your or just sit quietly to eat. That's what you feel like having. That's what I do. Hi, Ru Ruth. Hey, Ruth, you're not talking to yourself. She leaves comments. She leaves comments, and I'm so grateful for her comments. She watched the video and comments on one area and the other, the other. Miss Ruth, for you. Miss Ruth, hold on. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. Ruth Ashkenazi. Welcome, Miss Ruth. Woo -woo! Come on now. Hi. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, California Glow, we're so glad you're here with us. Waffles, oh yeah, you ever, I don't know, if, uh, some of you ever been to the Waffle House down south? I don't know if they have them other in the south. Told you about that. I was dating this guy for a little bit, and he'd always take me to the Waffle House. And I'm like, after the fourth or fifth or sixth time or whatever, which I was very grateful. You know, he wants to take me to, you know, get a little something to eat or whatever, right? And so he kept taking me to the Waffle House. And I'm thinking, I don't expect you to take me to some four-star restaurant. You know, that's not how I well, What are you going to do for me? You know, like that. But I just thought, oh, could we go to McDonald's or something or grab a pizza? You know, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. You know, I, I'm not like that. And I said, I have to ask you a question. He goes, what's that? I go, why do you always, I said this before on the air sometime, I forget when. I go, why is it? If you want to go out and get something to eat, you always go to the Waffle House every single time. He just looks at me. He goes, because. They cook their food right in front of you. You can see how the food is being cooked. And I want to see the person cooking the food before I eat it. Something like that. <laughs> I'm like, you know something? I never did think about that. Because you can't see the kitchen in 99% of the restaurants, you know, unless you go to the one that's got the, uh, it's got the chef. And it's the Asian restaurant. 
arigato or whatever you call that steakhouse or whatever. And you sit in all the way kind of in a semicircle and the chef or the cook is right in front of you. And he's like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. he's plopping them vegetables up. He's, like, he's cutting all these different veggies and things. And it's cooked right in front of you. Then he grabs it and he slides it and puts it on the plate. I've never been. I've only seen it on, seen it on videos. But yeah, he says, because I can see that I can watch them cook my food. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sunny Skies. Yes, she is. She's been very emotional lately. For those of you that didn't, didn't see the, the the beginning of the video, I, I just picked her up, you know. Right? Or if I let you on my lap, will my will my thighs become a pin cushion? Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here to me. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come up here. Come here for a second. Come here. Let me see. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Good girl. Stay still, good girl. There's something about you all being here. I've never been able to cut five of those claws at the same time without her scratching or attacking me. Come on, come here. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Be a good girl, good girl. Oh, I'm so proud, good girl. Stay still, stay still. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, come on. Good girl. Oh my gosh, that's a miracle. I cut all 10 in the front. You are a queen. Do you understand me how good you are? Do you know what that means to me that I cut them claws? Mm -hmm. That's a good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. That is a miracle. Y'all y'all don't understand. That cat would tear me up. Wow. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, sorry. I got I to gotta give her a little. Oh, good girl. Yes. That was such a good girl. Yes. Yay. Hey. Wow. Wow. You know what? Yeah. Come here. Let's see. I'm going to open up a can of tuna fish for my cat. Yes, I am. You don't know how hard that is to do. That was a miracle. She, you remember toward the end she went like that toward the last one? Ooh, fancy. I'm opening up this can of tuna. Yes, we're gonna open up a can of tuna for this cat. Baby, my friends, one of my friends suggested we're gonna, we're gonna, yes we are. We're opening up a can of tuna. Oh yes we are. Well, we'll see how the Dollar Tree does. Sorry, y'all. I love my cat. Can you believe that? You just, oh my gosh. She would just, ah, just, ah, you know. Not all the scars on my hands are from work. <laughs> that cat would tear me up. Fancy, you were good girl. I'm sorry. I'm going to sound really silly right now. Good girl. Yes. Oh, we got something special for you. Oh, what a good girl. Ooh, now I got to do the rare ones. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> now I won't do those on camera. <laughs> good girl. Oh, look at that. Come here. Come here. Let's put this on the floor. Everybody see you. Everybody see you. Yeah. Oh, I got my bag and my crap on the floor. <laughs> Everybody see you. Look up here. Come here. Look up here. Yes. Give him a close up. This one, let, me get, let me get my work bag off the floor. It looks messy. Pardon me. Pardon me. Let's put that back. Yes. Good girl. Here. Come on. Stay right there. Stay, stay right there. Hold on. Let's get a little plate. Wait a minute. What do we got? Hold on. I need, oh, I know. I know. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Let me get a fork. 
Do I have a fork? Watch out, boo-boo. Watch out. Don't let me step on you. Hold on. Yeah. You hear that meow? Come here. Come over here. Come here. Hey. Remember these? He. Come here, baby. Come over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. This is just for you. You are such a good girl. Hold on now. I know you see the bowl. Wait a minute. I know. I know. You ready? Hold on. Back up here. Down here. Down here. Down there. Do you see it? There you go. She's such a good girl. Oh, mommy's so proud of you. Hold on. Let me let me give you a little more. Hold on. Oh, move your nose. Move. It. I know you like it, but come on. <laughs> there you go. You see that? You're such a good girl. Yes. That's it. You tear that up. You go right ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing of it is, she can't really see. She can't see that good. I think she sees light in images. So she's kind of going like this. And then and she went, oh, wait a minute. I smell something. <laughs> I don't I know she seemed like she was real hungry. I know I don't starve my cat. <laughs> yes, in the bedroom because her bowl is in the room. See this ginormous thing? This is what I get her. It is the Purina Cat Chow Complete is what I get I get for her. I know that looks goofy in the room, but her bowl, not her bowl, that plate right there. Yep, she gets a placemat. She gets a placemat and a little, a little, a little, little uh, Dollar Tree carpet thingy, a little mat. <laughs> I know it seems kind of silly, but I love my cat. And she gets a, she gets a plate. Uh, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> she gets a plate, uh, a placemat like the one that I have on the table. The ones I have on the table. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you would think it was me with cheesecake. <laughs> oh, I used to, I used to love that about the um, the Golden Girls. Ice cream or cheesecake when someone was stressing, when someone broke up with a boyfriend. Is that good? Is that good girl? Yes, good girl. See, hey, maybe we could associate tuna reward. For trim claws. Yeah, I know. She does that. She's, oh. I know she is an animal, but she's an animal. <laughs> oh, good girl. I'm so proud of you. And right live on YouTube, you were so good. Yes. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> You're probably like, enough with the freaking cat lady. <laughs> Chicago show, Chicago PD or Med. Oh, really? Miss Lena, I'll have to check it out. Yes, lovely life. I'm telling you. Sometimes, you know how you'll have a you'll have a bag of cat food. It gets to the bottom. My mom and her friends used to remind us of the Golden Girls. Oh, I love that love cats. I love that. But um, what was I saying? I forget, but um, it's it's she 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 does not like her paws to be touched. I can touch them a little bit. Whenever I try to trim them, you know. But I think finally, it only took I don't know five years. <laughs> um, she's starting to understand because her claws were growing out and she was getting stuck on things. And so I'd have to wait until she was kind of sleepy. She'd kind of be half asleep. And I'd just reach over real gently, you know, and just grab that paw and press it. And that claw would come out. And I'd snip two or three of them. And then one eye would open. And she'd just look at me like, if you continue, I'm going to rip your hand to shreds, <laughs> you know. And so it's just this goofy game. Do three or four, wait a day. Do three or four away today. And now I think she understands. 
you know, you're behind. It's going to get stuck, you know, on a screen, like for the whole night until I get back from work. If you don't let me trim your nails. <laughs> Tomorrow on NBC. Hi, Roxbury. Small victories. Trim those claws. Exactly. You cannot let them. They were right at the limit. I knew that I was going to have to do that tonight. I knew I could not go back to work. Uh -uh. I had to do it. I got a few of the rear. I think I got about mm, maybe six or seven of the rear ones to do. But the thing of it is, I have scratching posts. She will not use. I bought them. One I bought secondhand. One I got brand new. It's got a nice rough surface to it. But she does not use it. <coughs> Excuse me. I come in here and this 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 love seat that um, um got from a neighbor or whatever. I forget. No, Tim and I went and picked that up for free. It was on um, what's that site? I can't think of the site name. Anyways, it escapes me. And so. There's something about the material. It's very thick on this on this thing. I can just get the pillow. This material, it's that, that little love seat over there. This material is super dur. I mean, it is very, very thick. And something about it. She wants to go on the you know how they do. She wants to go on the bottom. And 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 I look at it, it's not even scratched or torn. That's how tough this stuff is. I mean, her, her, her claws are like razors, you know, uh, even to the point where uh, <laughs> I, I should not laugh. I should not laugh at this. For a long time, that cat hated my son, hated him. Yep. He would try to walk by and she would go after his legs or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, I'm not coming in. We're, the, the first the first sentence out of his mouth and then coming to my door. Where's the cat? Yep. Then it got to a place. I don't know how many years passed by where it took her years with an S to kind of kind of cozy up to him a little bit toward the end. Yeah. But oh yeah, she just tear it up. Craigslist, exactly. It said free love seat. See, you know when when the when the I just I just can, can I just you you know that I just talk about one thing because one thing reminds me of something else. And I'm sorry, that's how this channel is. That's just how I am as a person. You know, we talked about the cat and I just kind of looked. I mean, I uh, she was near me and I looked and I saw that claw. I'm like, I'm going to go over and I'm going to get those. I'm going to get those toenail clippers. And I'm about to be scratched live. I don't care. I got to do this. Just something in me said, do it now. And boom, she allowed me to do it. So, yeah, it's this one. Y'all remember this one. So it's nice, but it's <laughs> it's very, uh, for tall people like me, you can't really lay on it. If you go to lay back on it, my feet, like this much of my leg hangs over because I'm five foot ten. <laughs> I'm grateful to the father to have it. That that thing there is hard as a rock. That <laughs> you can sit on it and be kind of comfortable. I think it would take a nuclear explosion to tear that little little love seat up. <laughs> it's, 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 hot. it's like you look at it, it looks kind of cute. Then you try to sit on it or lay on it. It's like trying to lay on a brick. <laughs> a brick with flower design on it, you know? Oh. <laughs> Hi, my tiny organic garden. Hi, Roxbury. George Castillon. George, you like my earrings? George always tells me I have very, very nice earrings. Thank you, George. 
You know what I should do, George? I should bring that thing out and show y'all my earrings. Would you like me to do that? Would you like me to get my little mini suitcase, my little mini suitcase and show you my earrings? Or would that be boring? <laughs> Probably boring. <laughs> Hi, I like that little hand emoji, Lena. Now, most of my earrings are from Walmart. That's what that one looks like. I think I got that from Walmart. Yeah, I don't have much, but I can I can show you. I'll just I'll bring that in there. We'll just go, we'll just go and take a look. Thank you. I, I just, you know, I'm stuck in 1983. Oh, George is like, no, I like surprises. <laughs> California Glow goes, yes, yeah, show them. I'll tell you what, George, I won't show all of them. How about that? I think George, <laughs> George likes, likes the earrings, and there's nothing wrong with that. Trust me, there are all kinds of different things that people like. As long as somebody isn't cussing at me or acting all weird at me, I'm 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 cool, right? But there's like like I say, some people like the um the mukbang where people eat food. I'm like, well, okay, that seems harmless enough. People are eating all different like different food from just different food, Asian food and Spanish food and uh southern cooking and stuff like that and people like to watch other people eat their food. And some people just uh, they into makeup and seeing the different makeup looks, or they actually like a longer video with the person putting on their makeup or combing their hair or something like that. And that's, I guess, just all right. As long as you're not knocking at my door. Hey, hey, I want to see you put your makeup on just for me. I'm like, oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, we're not getting into it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You missed my fast food videos? Yeah, I wanted to do one, but Mr. George, what happens is I'm just um, getting caught up and getting my life kind of organized, and I'm kind of prioritizing how I spend and stuff like that. Give me just a second, please. Okay, more than a second. Actually, one minute. Like they say in, like they say in other, like they say in other, uh, other, uh, uh, when they're talking about the winner of a contest, they'll have five singers all scared. Okay, we're gonna announce the fifth runner up, and then they go, they go like this. In no particular order, Susie Smith. Oh, congratulations, dear. You're our fifth place winner. They go in no particular order. Have you ever seen that? Well, I'll present to you some of some, some of my El Chipo jewelry in no particular order. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love doing the comparison. Ooh. Uh, child, I gotta get me some of that spray here. See my roots? <laughs> I was just, I just Normally, this is the week, excuse me, this is the week that I do the roots, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I have been tempted. You know, I may just do it. I just may do it. I may buy myself a wig. Yep. You've seen that wig video from a long time ago. I may just buy a wig that has bangs and comes down like this. And sometimes, you know, I just don't feel like doing it. I'm so tired. And I know that sounds like, why you so lazy? Sometimes you're just like, I really don't feel like washing my hair and deep conditioning my hair. Then I got to wait a day, at least a minimum of 24 hours. Then I got to do my roots. Then I got to put the conditioner, then another conditioner. Then I got to put a plastic bag on my head. Then I let it air, dry, you know, let it air dry, flat iron it. Put the stuff on on it before I flat iron it. <laughs> and now I understand why ladies wear 
wigs. <laughs> These are very Joan River-ish, if you will. And I think that these might have come, I cannot remember. I just, I just, please pardon me a moment. These are very long necklaces, right? With just stones on them. Why did I get something like this? I normally don't wear something like this. It's because I thought about wearing a black turtleneck, right? A black pair of slacks and maybe a red jacket. And I thought a splash of color via V, a necklace like this would be kind of cool. That was my thinking. And it closes, it even has beads right where you close it up. You've got beads there like that. And like I said, Joan, remember Joan Rivers, uh, rest her soul. She had her own jewelry and she'd have all this big, bold jewelry. This is not her stuff. I don't know where. I cannot remember if someone sent this to me. But I think I like this. I like the stones. And I what I like about it is kind of the rainbowy kind of tinge of color to it, you see. Like that. But see how that shines? And what attracted me to it, or I, I'm trying to remember, I don't want to be, I don't want to make a mistake where someone gave this to me, or did I buy this? But it is, to me, it's very pretty. One last Joan Rivers, if you will. I'll try to go through this kind of quickly, because I would really like to read some scripture. I just, this is kind of interesting how you have the print, the silver, and then the black, just like that. But the, I don't know, just different things look interesting. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, I got my ear and everything all kind of stuck. Yes, things like this only happen to me. But yeah, just kind of to me, I'll just describe why. I, I don't know. I don't know how this sounds to y'all. To me, it's kind of artwork looking. I don't know how to say that. This is the only way to say it. It reminds me of artwork. And I always wonder, I know things like this are mass produced. A lot of our jewelry now, if you look at the back, made in China. And here's what I wonder. There is a little girl and there's a, a man. They're sitting there tediously putting this together and having to do thousands of them. I think about them. I think about them. Like right now as we're just chilling, somebody's making jewelry right now. So that I could just walk into Walmart for $2.99 or $3.47 or whatever it is and get these. I think about them. Yes, I do. Let's see. This is not jewelry, but along the lines of the stones. Tim gave these to me. I don't know what kind of stone. This is the real deal, but it's very pretty. It's purple. If you can't see the color real well from this lappy top, it's actually purple. Yeah, let's do that. And another one. He collects different types of rocks and stuff like that. Yes, he does. Matter of fact, maybe I can get him to bring some of his stuff over or I'll go to his place and have him bring the stuff out. This is the turquoise. And then he polished it. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I've always dreamt. You can see it's the real deal. You see the natural kind of the, 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 that indentation or crack or whatever in it. But that is a real turquoise stone. And I forget what you call these, crystal? The, this, this one was from my, originally belonged to my son. It broke, a little piece broke off. But that's also, see how you got the back of it? You see the stone? Isn't it amazing what God creates? 
here you have it, you would think, oh, that's just an ugly dark stone. But if you crack certain stones open, you'll have something as beautiful as this on the inside. I, I think, isn't that amazing? I love gemstones and crystals. I have a collection while wow, tiny, organ tiny organic gardener. You should wrap that stone in silver wire. Thank you, Ruth. That is a great idea. Silver wire. So you see, you see, wrap the stone. This, she says, wrap the stone in silver wire and then make like a necklace. That's a great idea. That is an excellent idea. And those are like the stones. Now, this is costume jewelry. Why did I buy this uh, at a tag sale? One of the stones is missing, but I can always take a stone from the back of this necklace. This is very old school, and a lot of people may not like something like this, but this reminds me, it's very old school costume jewelry, like the 1950s or 60s. You've seen the ladies. I thought it was just very pretty. I don't know why. I just thought of Mary Tyler Moore or or uh, the lady from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love the 1940s. Now, I can't see this name, but there's a name in the back here. I can get this to be to the light, but you probably can't see that name. Let me try to get it over to the camera. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't have a magnifying glass, but there's just something about um, kind of like the artwork, you know, the beauty of the artwork. You got all these different stations. You got all these different like stations. Here you have one that looks like a part of a sun. Then you got one that looks like a, like a burst. And then um, that's kind of an oval type of deal with a bigger stone. So someone originally, before they were mass produced, someone sat down and designed that. And I always wonder about the people that, 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 that do things like this. You ever wonder the background of something that's old? I do. I wonder about the person. I, I just envision them sitting there putting the original piece together. And then this thing is mass produced. And I'm trying to envision these these people in these places putting these things together. I don't think that's a made in China thing. I think that, that might be kind of old, maybe. <coughs> really, amethyst is good for removing pain like a headache. I didn't know that California glow, oh my goodness. Well, you know, if I would have known that, that one husband I had that was a pain in my backside, I should have just put a bunch of amethyst in his underwear drawer. That would have resolved my problems. I'll let that sink in for a second. <laughs> Wow, yeah. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. Oh, he was so, he was just so, I don't even know how to describe it. This is my little this. This is mine. That's my drawer. That's my this. And I pulled out my some of my underwear one day. I pulled it. I go, would you like to say this is yours too? <laughs> oh, I can be bad. <laughs> Yeah, what about these bikinis? They belong to you too. <laughs> Stop, Miss Fab. That's very un that's terrible. Stop it. <laughs> so we have these. This is a kind of old school. Remember this? You see? Yes, we used to have to wear these things. I remember you remember these? You have to screw that all the way back. Or and then come all the way forward, my friend. Let me move my big. Try to move my finger out of the way. But if you turn it around, this is the design. It's like it's in a triangular shape or a triangular pattern. And they're white. I think it's kind of an off-white, if you will. Let me take a look at that. Kind of an off-white, silvery off-white. I can't quite describe that. But basically, you would take that earring like that, and you would take it and try to get your earlobe around that. That's kind of interesting. 
I don't even know if I can do it. I have to really have a mirror. Pull it back. Get it on the ear. Get it on your ear. And then hold it here. And then turn it. Turn it. You got to make sure you're turning in the correct direction. Yes. I used to always screw them in the wrong way. Right now I'm screwing this thing in. I'm like, am I going in the right direction or is this thing going to fall when I move my finger? Let's see. Okay. There you have the earring, right? And this is what attracted me to it. Beside that is the pin here. Look at that. You see the pin? I like that. Not an exact match, but I just thought that was so cool together. Yeah. I love old school things. Kind of missing a few little things here, but I don't care. Just think that is so cool. A lot of people don't wear brooches or pins anymore. I still do, looking like I'm from 1843 when I'm in the store. <laughs> I don't care. Back in the day, a lady would put a scarf together like this, and she would connect it to a part of her blouse, and she would have a brooch. Yes, a brooch or a big, big fat pin a brooch to hold it together, you know, or remember hat pins from the forties or so the thirties where it'd be a big pin. I mean, a very long pin and they were, de some of them were decorative. They had rhinestones on them and different stones and you would have them in your hat, like a beret kind of a hat. And on one side, sometimes you'd use that pin on a small pillbox kind of a hat. And you put that in in the back and it would actually hold it onto your head. Yeah, it's interesting. I just find a certain set things interesting. And y'all have seen this. I've got, um, I think I'm, I don't even know where I got this from. I don't even know. I kind of looked at it a little bit. It has stayed silver without me having to shine it. So I don't know if it's that spoon silver or it's just sprayed over metal with a really good silver paint. I don't know. But a close up, you can see all the little dings and things in it like that. But I can't, I can't remember where I got this thing. When I saw it, I thought of Cleopatra actually. I thought of Cleopatra and I thought I would wear this, but I'd have to dress, have something with a neckline the same. And I couldn't wear something like with a lot of pattern to it. Cause this makes a, you know how now they have them in Walmart, they'll have the bold necklaces with the big earrings. They call it a bold necklace. In my opinion, this is just an opinion. Do whatever you will if you choose to, to wear these things that the blouse or dress you wear should be quite simple so that the piece of jewelry that's so bold like this can be featured and be the focal point, you see. That's just an opinion. Like, I wouldn't wear it with this because this is this has got lace, and the lace kind of makes a statement. Just, I don't know, I just, I don't know how I sound. I just think there's kind of a kind of a personality to the things that we wear. There's a simple, there's a bold, you know, there's just different ways of expressing ourselves, you know, and some days is I don't give a care. Watch me put on this t-shirt and a pair of baggy pants and my old sneakers, my old tennis shoes and go grocery shopping, put a ponytail in and put a, put a scarf on my head. I'm not feeling this today. When we do that, whatever. And then the other days you just feel like we used to call it guzzying, guzzying yourself up. I know a lot of a lot of young folk don't know any of these statements. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's all guzzied up. She's all dressed up, you know. Yes, I'm quite old. <laughs> I can't believe that I can remember all these different statements, but yet I don't know if I have anything else worth showing you. 
because a lot of my stuff is just old junky stuff, to be honest with you. These look, these are gaudy, but there's a reason why I have them. I don't wear them. If I can untangle this mess that they're in. Well, I got one. Oh, battery's running low. Okay, y'all, excuse me. Let me get the plug. How dare you interrupt me, old plug? I'm coming. There's five million plugs in this apartment. That's one of the things I like about it. I must plug you in. Oh, wrong side. My mother loved... Oh, she had a particular taste that was considered... Uh, I try to be kind here. Kind of cheap-like, if you will. Uh, this... Some would call a rather heinous looking earring. <laughs> you see that? These were her earrings. I kid you not. I came in one day. We Oh, when I went, I went, uh, when we, oh, I didn't, I never did uh, tell you the end of that, uh, a little bit more about the haircut story because I'm remembering as I'm talking right now. So uh, my mother wanted to get her hair done. Remember me and my two sisters all had the same 1980s haircut. I get out of the vehicle. I look up. My sister, younger sister approaches me. We have the same haircut. We like laugh. And then she goes like this, indicating my other sister's about to come over. I look over and my other sister had the same haircut. So here we are, three idiots with the same hairdo. <laughs> I say, we just, you know, we're familiar. We just kind of talk. You know how girls talk when they're alone. But anyways, we're just, <laughs> we're just kind of laughing and stuff like that about how we all got the same haircut. So I say to my mother, I say, okay, I go, I got, I got some money. I would always bring in like, hmm. I would always bring an extra $40, 50 bucks, you know, try to bring a little extra. I planned that, that visit in Connecticut quite well and set that to the side, set that to the side, set that to the side, have a little bit, bring it with me. And then I want to spoil her. Spoiling her is making her. I have to just about drag her kicking and screaming. Uh, <laughs> taking her to this little itty bitty little restaurant for breakfast. She loved doing that, but she didn't do it all the time. So that's the first thing I do the next morning is I want to come on. We're going to the restaurant. I don't want to go. I go, come on, let's go. I go, want to get your hair done? She goes, ooh, get my hair done? She goes, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I took her, so I took, oh, I wish I had a video camera back then. Oh, goodness gracious. If I could have got that woman on film. Oh my gosh. I just, some of the things she goes, I go, well, you want to get your hair done? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Something like that. But anyways, we go into this shop. It's a Hispanic shop, and the ladies, you know, I don't speak Spanish. I think they spoke a little bit of English, but my mother, of course, my mother, you know, she could speak fluent Spanish. So we go in there, and the lady said, ¿Qué tú quieres? What, ¿Qué tú quieres? What do you want? Well, you know, ¿Qué tú quieres su pelo? You know, what would you want for your hair? Sorry, my Spanish is not good, but that's the gist of it, right? And my mother looked at me. <coughs> And she pointed to my head. Yep. <laughs> yep. So now you had four of us. <laughs> my mother got the same haircut. I kid you not. And at the register, they had all this jewelry. And this, these earrings were sitting there. Mm-hmm. She goes, Lean, I like those earrings. I go, you like those earrings? Are you sure? Oh, Ma, come on. She goes, no, I like that. I like that. I'm like, I don't have to wear them. Okay. So I got her. <laughs> I bought her these earrings. Yes. I feel like Charo, you know. <laughs> oh, but that's the story behind these. Yeah. That's why when I, I went home um, after everything and I saw them, I said, Carmen, I got I, I got to have those. She's like, OK. So she gave them to me. But anyways, I digress. 
Oh, the simplest things made that woman happy, kids. The simplest things made her happy. Just go ahead and get her the Sara Lee cheesecake and a, a nice big glass of Coca-Cola. Yeah. I used to do her toenails and stuff like that. Okay, Ma, get a big old plastic thingy, you know, dish pan, big old plastic thingy. I tell her to put her little, she had a little itty bitty feet. I'm like, I used to look, because I had big feet, size 11. She wore size five. She had very tiny, bony little feet. And I said, um, I said, well, I go, I'm going to, um, I'm doing my feet or whatever. I'm going to do your feet. She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, you can do my feet. You know, Be careful. Don't cut me. I go, I'm not going to cut you. I go, look, I'm right here at your feet. My head's real close. All you got to do is reach. You can reach and pop me on the side of my head. You think I'm going to risk it and pop? Come on. <laughs> so I so, so I soak her feet and clean under her toenails and trim her toenails. And, of course, got to have bright red. Paint the red. <laughs> got, 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 got a magazine. You know, you're kind of going like this. Going like this. <laughs> Kind of dry your toes. Put the clear on. She'd go grab a pair of sandals and crack me up. She'd be strutting around the living room trying to show off her toes and her sandals. <laughs> oh, you know how girls are when they're, it's kind of like having a pajama party, you know? Oh, yeah. That's why I miss her so much, you know? But anyways, I digress. <sighs> Good night, Grandma Cheap Cheap. Oh, hey, Mr. HD. Is that a Mr. or Miss HD? Because HD clan sounds, I don't know. I don't know. These are Walmart specials. Did I, did I miss the stone out of there? Was I missing stones? Yeah, I think I'm missing stones, but I, I don't know why I like blingy looking things, but we're missing stones out of here. So that's why I stopped wearing them. Thank you so much for coming in, Grandma Cheap Cheap. Thank you so very much. And then the only reason I'm going to stop in just one sec in, in a few seconds. The only reason why I um oh no no not that never mind. I thought this was cute. I forget what kind of where I was, but I just liked that it was a little doggy. And then these are pink. The stones right here are pink, but just, I don't know. It just looks so cute and different. So I had to have her. And let me see. I showed this to you before. I think I did. This belonged to my mother and I told you how I wanted to give it to my, um, to my granddaughter. My mother gave it to me when I was 16. This is the Boulevard. And it's an oldie but a goodie. The only thing about it that it kind of freaks me out a little bit, it's the old school. You wind it up. No batteries. No batteries. Just a stainless steel bag. I think it has this scrolling right here. It's white gold. And if you look real close, there's like a little chip of diamond, a diamond chip there somewhere. And I can't really see that right there is a little diamond chip, but it's an oldie but a goodie. You can see how tiny it is. The lady that raised my mother, it was hers. And she gave it to my mother. She was not her mother. She was the neighbor that raised her. A very, a very, uh, a very wicked person. A very wicked person. But it's sort of the... Uh, what is the, the, that syndrome, is it Stockholm? What is that syndrome where you are kind of imprisoned by a person, then you start to get along with that person and you just kind of just go along with it and just, you know, you just stay, you just can't leave. Even if they go out the door and leave the door unlocked, you can't leave because psychologically you're imprisoned. It was kind of like that toward the end. Stockholm, yes. But at the age of 17, uh, she got out of there. That's why I say I, I, I could write a book. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> oh, 
I could write a book. Some of the things that she said and Lord have mercy on my soul. I can't even I can't I can't even say I'd have to do a separate video and put adult content under there. You know what I mean? But nobody should ever have to go through something like that. These remind me of 1960 something, the little balls on a chain like that. So I like that. You see how everything's all kind of different? It just, I, I sit there and nobody's paying attention to this jewelry but me, right? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, what, what earrings do I want to put on? And I'm just sort of sitting there and I'll, and, and, and I'll just try to figure out, well, this, if I do this, that's a little bit too busy. If I do that, I got to wear a clean blouse. In other words, a very plain blouse. If a piece of jewelry just, rah, just sort of screams at a person, I think you should dress very, very, very clean lines and let the jewelry, the jewelry come be the focus. I think I just said that. And I wore these yesterday. I think Mr. Tim got these for me at Bymart. What I did is I painted the silver because it's just it's just sprayed on you know I painted the silver with clear nail polish and I got these a year ago there's clear nail polish in the front and back so basically I can get like a hanger or just anything with a hook on it and I take the earring and I'll separate them even if you take a clothespin on it on, on the hook and hang it and just take your time paint the front around the edge and then paint the back, just encapsulate it in clear polish. And I know some of you know that already, and it'll help it last a little bit longer. This has been about a year and it still uh, keeps its color, but that's what I do with silver colored El Cheapos. And you may have, oh, wait a minute, where is it? Because there's some folks that look like a certain type of necklace, a certain, if, if you're a jewelry person, some folks like a very simple piece, a very simple necklace. It'll have one thing right here, no matter what the symbol may be or the stone. And it's got a very thin chain, right? And just one little, one little stone or something right there. There's a lot of folks that like the, that kind of simplicity. They want to accent their look. They don't want to just, you know, do the, be Joan Rivers, kind of a Joan Rivers bold, if you will. I like these because they remind me of the 60s. I remember earrings like this way back then. Yes, I do remember the big, the big button. I just like the artwork on this, if you will. And then the stone here. Of course, it's not a real stone. It's like a teardrop, kind of a pear-shaped stone. It's a very light, light aqua or light green, if you will, that color. But just the shape, you sweep your hair up, you know, there's something about it. It just looked different. Got this from a clothing store here in town. Yeah, I think these might have been the first earrings I bought here, I think. But just different. You know, it's, I guess got all different kinds of... Uh, different shapes and stones. These, these things are so worn out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to paint the back. You can see where the back is all worn with the fake golds, which is sprayed on, but I like hearts. So we have the, the stone, just your El Cheapo plastic rhinestone ones like this. And then this because of the different colors. And this is kind of, to me, kind of a, a short bold, you know how you have the long bold, but it's sort of a stubby, stubby bold. It's like, it's really, really big and bold. But what speaks to this, what makes up the difference in boldness is the fact that it's got that, all the different colors to it. And it looks like a heart shaped fake diamond, if you will. So, being one chunk of a fake stone is, it, how do I say that? What it's lacking in the size of a bold earring, it's making up for the material 
that it's made out of, what it's sort of looking like, like a big diamond, like that. I don't know how quite how quite to express myself <laughs> with that statement, you know. I just I, I I always think about the person. Now I've got to get some hooks for this. You can buy a little pack of hooks from Walmart. They'll have the the earring bags and the hooks and stuff like that. Um, I like aqua, and along this along the same line of one big stone, I thought that the metal grasping the side of the stone, cutting into it, if you will, was kind of cool and artsy. But then it doesn't defray from the stone and the color. You could still see it. I thought that was very interesting. And these are not earrings, just like this one which is ridiculously big and is heavy on my ear. This is really a pendant from the craft section of Walmart. Yep, this is a pendant. I saw them together and I thought they were, I said, that looks, because you can tell it's a pendant by that thing right there, by this. You see that right there where the chain would go through? Yeah, but I don't know. I just thought it was very interesting how that stone was being clamped or, or just sort of, it looks like a tree. And Ruth, I remember, I'm just looking. HD, if you, I don't know if you retracted the messages, but it's showing your name. It says next to each place you would have spoken, it says message retracted. So your message did not come through. Thank you. Thank you, Organic Gardener. And let's see. Is there anything else that would be remotely interesting? Okay. Now, these are interesting. Now, some may, some may not find these attractive. Some may. They may not find them attract may not find them attractive because you've got this kind of a brown looking stone. Then you got the sort of a light purple stone. And then down here, you've got a aqua, a aqua stone, all with sterling silver. But they're kind of artsy looking and kind of interesting to me. And I see myself wearing these with nothing else, no other jewelry, and just a turtleneck or something rather plain because these things are busy. There's all kinds of stuff happening with them. So that's what I would do. Anytime something is, is big or oversized or, or just has all kinds of stuff going on with it, I don't want to have like the pattern of that, <laughs> like the pattern of that love seat, you know, unless I got this on, you know, okay, well, I got this big oversized, oversized earring from 1985 on, right? So I got these going on. And then I put on a big old flower blouse and then I put on a big old chunky. Then I go ahead and put on a big chunky necklace. You know, we get that going on. And then pretty soon I look like a look like I'm a garage sale walking around, you know. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So if I wear something big, I try to try to dress down or something. I don't know how to describe it. I think y'all know exactly what I mean, you know. Because uh, a big earring, you know, or, or a big bold necklace is sort of going, hey, look at me, you know, and I, <laughs> I don't want my whole outfit screaming at you. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't raise my voice like that. But, yeah, I think I'm going to stop right there. I hope you all don't didn't mind me going into that. Goodness gracious. Sometimes I, 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 uh, I say, oh, yeah, lo lovely hair. So sometimes I, I sit back and um, I think I, I, I get done with a video. What happens when the video is complete and I say good night to you all about 20 minutes later or so, I don't know the time frame. It goes on to YouTube as a video. When it first goes on to YouTube, the first a, a whole bunch of minutes are cut off the video. And it's only two hours. We've been on here for two hours and 24 minutes. 
So the first portion of the video will not be shown when it turns into a video. Don't know why. Maybe that's the processing of the video or whatever. But yeah, if I were to stop now at two hours and 25 minutes, it would go to be a video and it would say two hours. You would see me in the middle talking, you know, 25 minutes into it. I didn't understand that at first. I'm like, I, I, I did a, my first live in a very, very long time. And I knew it was over two hours. And when I went to do the playback and to do the, the thumbnail, you know, to type underneath it, I'm like, why is it only two hours? Where's the first part of the video? I thought, well, you know, probably just another glitch or, you know, how when you're like this, <laughs> when you're, when you're frozen. All right. Oh, my blessed friends, you're so patient with me. And there's still 29 people. Oh, my gosh. I love you all so much. Thank you. Like I say, I go back for two days to work. But guess what happens after that? We get three days off. <laughs> you hear a dragging sound. That would be the cord, the power cord that you that I <laughs> that I um plug into the computer. But, yeah, that's just I got a couple other little things or whatever. But just going to Walmart or going to a tag sale, we used to do that in, in Connecticut. They call, I don't know if they have tag sales here, but in New Haven, Connecticut, we used to go to tag sales, you know. Sometimes it would be sponsored, like sponsored by, not sponsored, that's kind of silly. There would be like a, or they'd have a rummage sale. Remember rummage sales? And you get a, a whole bunch of grandmas for their local little organization or for their church. And they would all come together to have the sale for a specific reason, to raising money for something. And so here you have them, it's just so cool. You got these grandmas in their 60s and their 70s, sometimes even in their 80s in downtown New Haven. We, all oh, me and Carmen used to love going to those. And you, you'd have things for 10 cents, 50 cents, Sometimes you'd even have a bunch of blouses together. They had the little circle sticker and they'd be a dime. Yep. That's why I I, I, uh, I went into shock when I went into this Goodwill and I turned my first tag over to look at a blouse. It said $4.99. I almost gave birth to another child. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? What is this, Walmart? What are these people pay? What are these people crazy? You know, I'm just, I'm not saying anything, but you know how things roll through your mind? Good night, Ruth. And Ruth, I'm so glad that you came. You, you uh, were on here with us. Support. Thank you, Ruth. And get some good sleep. Hi, Stephanie Nicole. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with with Clan. It's X H D X and then Clan. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if that person's still here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here trying to operate a mouse, and it's not plugged in. <laughs> Sometimes I just unplug everything, you know, when I go in there now. Yes, it's late, and it's a weekday. I gotta remember it's not my Sunday. It's 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 really um Tuesday. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the thumbs up. Goodness gracious. Just give me a moment, please. Be patient with the with the old grandma. Boo boo, I am so very proud of you. Do you understand me, little girl? You know what? Maybe when like when I first started, when I first started the thing, she's crying and stuff like that. I just pick her up and, and hold her up to me, you know. Yeah. I think that maybe that that helped. I think that maybe kind of calmed her to where she would let me trim those nails. 
You know what? If you think about it and you have an animal and they're going along and they're healthy and everything, and then you notice them stumbling around and you look close at their eyes and they look cloudy and you realize they can maybe see light and see a little bit, that's got to be pretty freaking frightening for her, you see. Hence the extra crying. Yep. So when I picked her up and, and, and just held her for a little bit and, and, and reassured her, it's okay, you're going to be all right, you know. You all right? You okay? All right. I think that kind of calmed her down, and then I could trim those nails. Okay? Yeah, I'm talking about, are your ears ringing? It's an old school saying, boo-boo. If your ears are ringing, they say somebody's talking about you. I don't much believe that, but that's what they say. <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, okay. Yeah. You know I love you, right? I say that to her. I don't know if she understands me. <laughs> I go, you know I love you, right? <laughs> Do I love you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm going to get hair all over my face. Okay. Will you be patient with me? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Goofy. I was talking about this earlier, so I might as well, and this is so familiar, but I was talking about that, that this earlier. Finally, my this is um, Ephesians 6. Many of you know this. Many of you memorize this. Ephesians 6. Verse number 10. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And that's something, the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. I told you. You got kind of a kind of a kind of like kind of like stairs. Little impies all the way on up. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done or overcome. I have a study Bible. The word done is underlined and their different definition and itty bitty little word is overcome. Um, and having overcome or done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench or put out all the fiery darts or arrows of the wicked. Again, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word, which is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always, again, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And what in the spirit, the word spirit is capitalized. Mm -hmm. In the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We are praying. 
for one another. Oh, yes, indeed. We're, we are placing one another. We're all getting under that blanket. Oh, hallelujah. We're all getting, all getting under that bl blanket of prayer together. I pray for you. You pray for me. We pray for her. She prays, prays for us. Oh, glory to God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, we need, we, we, oh, praying for one another is so important, my friends, so mighty important. Don't think that your prayers hit the ceiling. Oh, no, no, no. I would please I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It's all interesting, but I'm just kind of looking at this. The first letter of Peter. First Peter. It says the first letter of Peter. Chapter one. I think it would behoove me to try to get to know each one of these people. I don't know why that's in my mind right now. I mean, this was a real person. And I think it, I think it would be wise to know who this person was. The first letter of Peter, chapter 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers or strangers in the world, it's the word strangers is underlined, strangers in the world, scattered throughout Pontus, Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and B-I-T-H-Y-N-I-A, Bithynia, Bithynia? Elect or chosen, the word elect is underlined, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, I got to read that again. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us against again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Oh, please forgive me. I got to read that again. First Peter chapter three, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible, and undefiled, oh, how powerful is this, and that fadeth not away, again, and fadeth, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, oh, glory, Woo. who are kept or protected by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Oh, can't you just see us up there with all of them? Can you not see us up there? Goodness gracious, I think about that. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, 
though now for a reason, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, oh my goodness, again, that the trial of your faith, the trial of your faith and my faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, I remember this part. I had to read this like 10 times. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here trying to understand. Whom having not seen, ye love in whom thou ye see him not yet believing. Ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. I don't know why I got confused. And it was like, it said, uh, it says, in whom thou ye see him not, Yet believing. I don't know why I got confused with that. I just kept reading it over and over and trying to understand that. First Peter chapter one, verse eight again. Whom having not seen, ye love. In whom thou ye see him not, yet believing. Though now ye see him not, yet believing. Ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the end or outcome, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ, which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but to us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost, sent down from heaven. Oh, I love that part with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children not fashioning or conforming yourselves according to the former lust of your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversations. Isn't that something we were talking about that earlier? <coughs> Excuse me. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Sojourning here, they have a little definition of the underlying words sojourning here, living on earth. Pass the time of your living on earth or sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot who verily was foreordained, ooh, goodness gracious, who verily or truly was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest or revealed in these last times for you, 
whom by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and your hope might be in God. Being born again, goodness gracious, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. How long does, how long does uh, this abide for forever? Goodness gracious, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh, for all flesh is grass and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth and the father, the father, the, the flower thereof falleth away. Again, the grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Chapter two, wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes, glory, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so, if so be ye, let me get this right. So if so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed or rejected indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also as lively stones, excuse me, are built up, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. I feel like I want to continue. Let me continue. Wherefore, verse six of chapter two of first Peter, first Peter chapter two, verse six, wherefore also <clears throat> it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Again, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient, whereunto also they uh, were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God. Oh, hallelujah. Again, verse 10, which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained glory to God mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, 
having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall observe or behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to a, the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. I'm going to stop right there. You're welcome. I want you all to have a wonderful, a wonderful rest. Thank you very, very much. If I can slide back with Love Cats, Miss Lena, Grandma Cheap Cheap. Hold on. Ruth Ash Kenazy, Stephanie Nicole, Carol, my tiny organic garden, Yaki Snacky. George Castion, Roxbury, Sunny Skies, California Glow, Love Life 5536, I know I'm forgetting somebody. It's driving me crazy. Lisa Jones, Covert Yankee. Thank you for letting us know, Covert Yankee, that you needed prayer. Audrey F. I think I mentioned Yaki Snacky. Raindrops on Roses, Lisa Jones. Truly Tracy, Jan Wright. Tanisha Winston. Oh, y'all just blessing my soul. I can't, oh my goodness gracious. Denise Broomer. The first one in the room. I can't remember. It doesn't go all the way back. Thank you all so very much for, for coming in. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm looking at 32 thumbs up. That's unbelievable. Thank you for your support. Thank you for loving me and being my friend. I really, really mean that. Thank you so very much. Um, yeah. I pray for you. Please pray for me. Bye, everybody.